Hey, 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 what's going on? Welcome back to Timbo's Food Box. Today, I'm gonna to be opening a box I received yesterday from Mosaic. This company specializes in vegetarian and vegan products. I've tried a few of their products in a previous video, but we fell in love with their smoothies. Me, my wife, and my son. We absolutely adore them. So that's what this review is about. It's about smoothies from Mosaic. If that's not your thing, I'll catch you in another video. Yesterday I had training all day, so I wasn't able to really review this box. And then today I was like, I'm gonna do it during lunch. And then I got slammed, I got pulled into meetings. So this box has been sitting in my garage. I did open it yesterday. There was dry ice, so I felt pretty confident in doing so. I might have snagged one of the smoothies. Let's uh, get into the box. Let's see what I got. I got a, a lot of smoothies. Oh, let's see here. Here's my box. Photo op. Let's move this in. Beautiful. Oh. Like I said, I've already opened this box, so that's why it's closed like so. Just like the previous box, this has this foam-like material, which I'll open up here. This is one of those things I'm not a huge fan of because this is inside a box and it's a giant cooler inside here. It's gonna take up a lot of space in my recycle bin. If they could do one thing and just upgrade to the cornstarch, it would save me a bunch of money. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna put this on the ground. So this is a sad sight. I got one, two, three bags of empty dry ice. So that is telling me right now that these smoothies potentially could be thawed out. And that is not Mosaic's fault at all. In fact, it's my fault because I decided not to make this review yesterday. I decided to push it off all day today and it's now 7.30 at night. Yeah, my fault. Like I said, we love these and we're gonna probably pound these pretty damn quick. Let's do this one. Yeah, it's thawed out. Dummy me. First one here is we have a strawberry teeny smoothie. This has strawberries, bananas, Dates, sesame seed, flaxseed, and salt. It does contain sesame if you're allergic. All right, it's 310 calories, 12 grams of total fat, 48 carbs, which is kind of high on my diet, 27 sugars, which is also pretty high on my diet. It's all natural sugars, so I'm okay with that. As for protein, there is six grams, and that's probably because of the sesame seeds, but I do sometimes add a scoop of non-flavored protein powder. I'll be sure to put that in my description down below, which one I use. Uh, it blends really nicely and it tastes great. I mean, it's unflavored, so you don't really know it's there. So I got a bunch of those. I should also mention, it comes with this really cool lid. The smoothie mix is in there. You take off the lid, you pour in your special liquid. This one here recommends almond milk. You fill it until the cup's full, toss this into my blender. I blend it up and I pour it back in this cup, put on a cover. I got a bunch of straws I've gotten over the years. I shove it here and I have my own cup of smoothie. And when I'm done, I can throw this in a recycling bin. Awesome, I love it. It makes it really easy, simple cleanup, minus the blender. The blender I have, I strongly recommend it. And I'll put that in my description down below as well because it's so easy to clean. Another strawberry, another strawberry, strawberry. So I guess that round we only got four strawberries. Once again, it's my wife's favorite. Can I refreeze these? Probably. I can most likely freeze these again because it's fruit. We're not talking about meat here. If anything, I might get a little ice burn on there, but I might take a risk because I do have a lot of smoothies here. The next one here is a cocoa cold brew smoothie. It's vegan. This one I kind of stole last night, so there's one missing. This one here is a little frozen but it's also a little thought out. So I'm gonna need to get this in pretty quick. We have a vegan wheat free. All right, we have bananas, cold brew coffee, cashew dates, coconut, cocoa powder, and salt. If you're allergic to anything, you might wanna look at this. It does have cashews and coconut. A nice chocolate fix with a little bit of energy built into this one. And it's a no brainer. I'll read off the calories just so you're aware. So it's 410 calories for this whole thing. 16 grams of total fat. We have 60 grams of carbohydrates and 32 grams of sugar. So super high in sugar. Good for the bariatric diet? Not so much, but I am getting in my fruit for the day. 
So I'm feeling okay with that as long as I put protein powder in here. And then we have nine grams of total protein. So this could be called maybe a dessert and I probably shouldn't have one of these every day, but we don't get these boxes all the time. Got one, two, three. Oh, there's the lid. Pop that on there. So, so good. I strongly recommend this one because it's my favorite. Next, this is a big favorite in my family. When we ordered it, we thought it was gonna be a little weird, but when we got it the last round, it was freaking amazing. This is a mosaic PB&J smoothie. It's vegan and wheat-free. Inside, we have bananas, blueberries, spinach, dates, peanuts, coconut, chia seeds, and salt. And if you're allergic to anything, please be aware that there's peanuts and coconut. Now for the macros, we have 330 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 51 grams of carbohydrates, 29 grams of sugar, and seven grams of protein. So good. And if I haven't said it already multiple times, I always add protein. Also, I should also mention, no artificial ingredients in any of these smoothies. So clean, so healthy. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Got six of those. Can you tell it's our favorite? All right, put this one over here. Next one down is a raspberry cocoa smoothie. This is vegan and wheat free. This one's pretty good. I prefer the other chocolate version. I wanted to give this one another shot. Inside here, we have bananas, raspberry dates, spinach, cocoa powder, cocoa nibbets, chia seeds, and salt. Doesn't mention anything about being allergic, unless you're allergic to maybe chocolate, real chocolate, not the fake chocolate. Nutritional facts, 330 calories, five grams of total fat, 64 grams of total carbs, 33 grams of sugar, nine grams of protein. Check it out. So, I right, got one of those. Oh crap, I got another PB&J. Didn't even notice that. All right, so I guess I got two. Once again, giving it a try. I don't get it as often as I like. Taste buds are always changing. Pop that off to the side. We have one more inside this box. This is my son's favorite, but he's slowly moved over to the PB&J. This one is the Cherry Berry, all right? This is also vegan and wheat-free. Inside, we have dark sweet cherries, strawberries, blackberries, dates, coconut yogurt, spinach, whole grain oats, chia seeds, and salt. If you're allergic to anything, just watch out for the cocoa it mentions. Now, this is one of the lowest macros. So we have 260 calories, six grams of total fat, 51 grams of total carbs, 31 grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And it recommends almond milk. No artificial ingredients. Woohoo! That's not something you see every day. All right, got one, two. Can I juggle these? No, that wouldn't be smart. Beautiful. Inside this box, as you can see, it's coated in this foam. Kind of sucks. I just wish it would go away. Well, that's it for my video. I wanted to make a really quick video because like I said, these have been sitting out for quite some time and they're pretty thought out. Some of them are a little cool still, which is exciting. If you like my content, consider liking and subscribing to this video. It's a free way to help support us and to help us grow as well as to allow more people to find this video. I was trying to find some details about YouTube and like how to make videos and everything else. And everybody says the more likes you have, the more people are gonna view this video. If you wanna check out another one of my videos, this one right here, YouTube strongly recommends it. Do you have another box coming, Butcher Box? And uh, wait till you see what nuggets I have inside that box. I went a little crazy because I had some really big sales. I spent over $500. So check back next week for another video. Bye everyone.